Hello and welcome back to Oxygen Not Included. So, in between episodes, like I said, I've allowed more steam to build up. Uh, I've also been working on this, uh, you know, the, the, the liquid output. And our liquid hydrogen output is ready to go. Our liquid oxygen is up to the point where it has a filter where it can filter out anything not oxygen. Um, that has actually been getting up that those bits of carbon dioxide out of here because this has cooled down to a point where it is, you know, liquefying the, you know, carbon dioxide. Um, so that's good. It is getting it out of our system. Um, I did end up having to basically undo one of these insulated tiles and then put it back, uh, allowing the polluted oxygen to escape because it was not getting to the turbine. Um, and as you can see, there's a little bit of ceramic right there that was the old tile because they brought new rather than use that when they rebuilt it. But other than that, we're doing pretty good down here. We've got, you know, a little over, you know, four kilograms of steam. I would like to get it up over five. It seems like it's right around three and a half that this kicked off uh, being under pressure. So we're going to go ahead. We're going to let the cycle start. It is about to be cycle 1722. So it's actually been a, a bit um, since the last episode, which I actually recorded this morning, and now it is, you know, heading on towards evening. Um, I'm actually managing to get another episode recorded. Hooray me. Um, so, and this guy takes a little bit to spin up, so he does some weird things. Uh, we're gonna let a little bit more steam get in here before we get too much further along, though. Um, what are you doing? You are grabbing granite. You are still cooling off. That's good. Uh, this guy, I think, is full. Yeah, this has already been trimmed back down to its proper amount, so I could launch this rocket anytime I feel like. I don't know that I need anything, though, because I don't need any more fullerene for super coolant. I could go pick up more neobdium and, uh, you know, more of the old, uh, what's it called, uh, steel, but... I'm pretty much good on everything except ceramics at the moment, which actually, how am I doing? How am I doing on ceramic? Not great. I don't even have enough for one more pipe section. And you seem to be out. So we're going to need to go track down a bit more clay. I could probably pop uh, a ladder here. And then be like, hey, dig that out for me. That'd be a little bit good. Um, I could try and burrow back this way. Let's do that with a little bit of ladder work as well. Let's just kind of do that. And then I could burrow in there. <clears throat> we'll let those build first, though. All right, they're already getting a bit more of the clay out of the way. Good, good, good. You are doing things. Hopefully you get some algae delivered to you, because I thought I just got some algae. They must have taken it elsewhere. Little bits of algae and stuff I still need, because even with as little as I'm using, I'm not actually managing to keep it in stock much. They're just repairing that for reasons. You are... Don't sleep in this jet suit. Bloody hell, how many times do I have to tell people that? How are you doing? You're heading back on up towards temp again. Of course, the stuff in here is... Fairly warm. So, what I've noticed this doing is, as it's spinning up, it is just spewing the hot steam up. But then, once it is going... It spits out the cooler steam. Oh, sorry about that. I'm uh, still a little bit uh, sinusy. I'm like 90% over the cold, but I'm still having a little bit of sinus issue. Um, let's see. Yeah, this is basically why I'm trying to get the uh, you know amount of steam in here up. And I would also like to get the amount of steam in here up some too, so that it refills it quicker. That way, the steam engine is more likely to run for longer periods. At least that's the general idea. And this will end up getting colder, I think. 
and just becoming solid and staying solid. Right now it's floating around those temperatures where it's wanting to switch back and forth. It is actually pretty hard to get liquid CO2 like in real life. You can do it at room temperature, but it has to be under a lot of pressure. Um, other than that, I'm not certain that there really is a proper temperature where CO2 is liquid at, like, you know, uh, sea level pressures. Like, you know, at one atmosphere of pressure. So, the fact that this is doing this, it's also one of those things that quite obviously... With as, even with as much based-in-real-science stuff as this game has going for it, it is not coded to deal with uh, the idea of things spreading out, cooling things down. And, you know, obviously, the you know, all the dynamics of pressure. I mean, it's got pressure down as far as movement of gases and liquids is concerned, at least to a certain amount. But it doesn't have that, like, you know, things being different states at different pressures, you know, at different temperature ranges in different pressures. So, you know, I hope <laughs> that might actually be one of those things that was just a bit too much to bother with for a game. So, there definitely is that. Ugh. I'm having to still deal with sinus issues here. Um, okay, how are you doing? You're almost there. You should be... You should be... There we go, steam now. Ugh. Just sinus issues. Alright. You're gonna pump some more steam in. All these pipes are high enough on temperature that they're not, you know, causing the steam to cool down any. Or at least not enough to... Try to try to recondense in the pipe, which was a problem at first. But like I said, it was since this is out in vacuum, it wasn't going to be a problem for long. All right, that cooled down a bit. I think I'm ready to start trying to cool some of this down. So let's. Well, I guess we're going to wait till the next cycle because I was going to say let's start by. Um, you know, getting that, but I guess instead we could start by allowing this to cool stuff, and I kind of want to see how this is going. Hmm. I'm not super keen about that. How's this going? Alright, that's fine, that's fine. You're going to heat that steam up pretty good. Oh, it, it, it's it's right on the edge of starting there, isn't it? I kind of want to do this as well. All right, we got both of these running now. Doing their thing. It's wanting to start. Yep, there it goes. Gonna let it. Yep, there it goes. It's doing its thing. Oh, and it kind of ran out. Yeah, see, it's kind of doing its thing a little bit. Let's just go ahead and set these back. Yeah, because those are starting to overheat, so we don't want that to happen. Oh, don't be overheating. Come on. What's your overheat temperature? Okay, you're at 527, so... All right, these overheat before this does, even though they're all steel. That's mildly annoying. That's okay, it's cooling down. So the system is working. It's just going to have to work in fits and spurts until we get stuff down to temp. Which, yeah, now see, this is now all solidified. It's not even trying to be liquid anymore. This stuff still is a little bit. But yeah, we're just basically going to have to keep teasing the system, you know, to temperature. And this is still cooling stuff, so it's going fine. It's just having pressure problems, which is why I want to keep feeding some more steam in. So that we can eventually not have this pressure problem going on. And it is cooling stuff down pretty good. I mean, it's not cooling it down as much as I might have thought it was going to. 
but I think that might also partially be because it keeps, you know, bouncing off the pressure issue, so... It's doing things. It's definitely doing things all right. All right. So we'll just kind of let that keep doing its thing until it, you know, runs out of stuff. All right, there we go. Now it's bouncing off the temperature as well. You are waiting on that to heat up again. How are we doing over here? Yeah, that's water going. All right, I was going to say enable this building. And basically, I'm just going to have to kind of tease this stuff down to temp. I'm obviously not quite ready to have it all down to temp just yet, because I don't really want to... Uh... Oh, and of course, it's the end of the cycle again by the time I get this stuff going. <coughs> oh. But yeah, you know, I really probably should run some sort of circuit in here. should have done that before I closed it up. Some sort of automation so I could have turned those pumps on and off. That would have been convenient. Important note, next time, automate the pumps. Probably with the same, uh, you know, probably with clock sensors so that I can just turn them on and off. That would have been a smart design choice. Too bad I didn't do it. All right. New cycle. We're going to try and pump in some hydrogen. See how that does with things. Because we have barely any hydrogen in here at the moment. But if we can fill it up, then we can take the time to refill the hydrogen before, you know, we actually start using the hydrogen. This will also basically allow us to have the area full so that the temperature stays a little bit more consistent once we do get it down to temp. Which will be a good thing. All right, here you go. You're pumping in. The temperature is coming up quick because this stuff is not nearly as cold. And, of course, that's making this stuff not nearly as cold. Let's go ahead and disable building because we're already going to be pushing. Yeah, we're already bumping off the top here. So that was less than a tank's worth from the gas reservoir, and it's got all this stuff backed up in the pipe, too. So if we could get this, please, somebody, Bueller, I would like you to do that. Someone, anyone, someone go over there and do it. Okay, there we go. And we're going to enable you. That way this will come down, we'll get the rest of that in, then we'll be able to turn that off, block off the whole system, It'll refill without, you know, being a gigantic pain. How are we doing here? How are we doing here? Ooh, not great on that. But it'll refill over time, uh, which is kind of the idea, so that that gets all filled up before, um, you know, we actually start using. Here we go. We're just gonna kind of bring in all this stuff. Get that good old hydrogen flowing. And that's actually most of it right there before it ran out of stuff in the pipe. You know, or at least, you know, where it started spacing, and then there's where it actually runs out. That's not too shabby. Hmm. All right. Now what we're going to do is we're going to say disable that. That'll be done basically so long as that gets disabled before I try enabling that one again. It's fine. All right. Let's check on the things. Now that we're at this stage, we need to check on our animals and such. Make sure that we're not losing a population here. 94. That might be needed to be looked at. We've got four of you, huh? 13, 40, 56... 84. All right, let's get that 94 done. Not continuous, thank you. Uh, you... Uh, all right, you guys are all right. I got the new puff prints in there. 
Um, so you're fine. You could probably say the rest of those eggs, and all but one of those eggs, are good to go in there. And the duplicates will do that just fine. How are we doing on temperature here? 422. How's our temperatures in here? Actually still really low. Um, let's go ahead and set this thing correct. <coughs> We're going to go ahead just kind of get this going a little bit. Not too crazy on the temperature, but at least a little bit. Kind of get this up to where it's starting to bounce off of 500. And then we'll deactivate it again. We just kind of need to tease it on down. Alright, actually let's do that. Because I also just remembered I haven't set any more ceramic to be made. I went and queued up a bunch more, you know, clay to be dug. But I didn't actually get any more ceramic queued up. So we need to do that. We also need to come over here and get this part dug out. There we go. That'll do. You're doing that. This is CO2 central down here. Look at all this stuff. Do we have any other gas coming in down here? Yeah, little tiny bits of that are coming through. This is just all having to get processed here by that guy. Mostly because it's coming out of here and then finding its way kind of sneakily across that. You do not have any O2 in you. Yikes. And these other suits are starting to get low. Yep, that was definitely a thing that needed to happen. We needed that algae. Oh, hey, this is running. Of course, now it's not hot enough. So yeah, we might need to replace these with diobdium. Just because the overheat temperature is a bit lower than I would prefer on those valves. I don't want to have to go to the massive process of basically getting this whole thing set up again. So I guess we'll see how, how we can manage here. Uh, we don't have the ceramic. I was The reason that I remembered the ceramics is I was like, oh yeah, we need to build this across and, you know, down to where the liquid, you know, oxygen tanks will be before we can really get this going. Oh, wait. <laughs> like, I could get the hydrogen on the go. And I think I'm going to, you know, toy with that a little bit. We're just going to kind of work on this a little bit here. Going to let this do its thing. You are getting ready to bounce off of that. Not quite to five yet. Oh, I saw five there for a split second. All right, there we go. Because the liquid shut off is staying if you know, about 20 degrees or so cooler than the aqua tuner. So that's good so long as we don't, you know, run into too many problems. Now, like I said, theoretically... At some point, this will get to the stage where this only has to run intermittently anyway. Oh, there was the morning lag again. But we're not quite there yet, is the problem. And I want to see the super coolant. Super coolant. Can I take a look at the super coolant? Eh, I can look at this super coolant. All right. I want to double check you. Your freezing point is 456.1. I'm currently going for 432.7. So that's fine. This has a condensation point of 421.9. So that's good there. Oxygen is 297.3. So that'll actually be much sooner. Okay, that's good. And here goes this guy again, getting ready to do his thing a little bit. I 
little tiny bits. All right, you are pumping more in. Good. Because we could definitely use more here. Although I think we're just about at the point where I'm going to want to call it. Well, I'll probably get it up to about a, you know, one kilogram, you know, per tile, roughly. And we'll call it probably pretty good there. Although this, yeah, this is already up over five. What, I wonder what the, uh, pressure, oh, right, that doesn't do that thing anymore. What are you, oh, you're up to ten. So actually it'll need to be much more. We can pump tons more steam in. That's fine. We're going to keep pumping steam in for a while. How are we doing here? Floating just shy of negative 200. Well, we can get you going a little bit more, can't we? Let's see here. Yeah, we got a little bit of time. We can run this aqua cooler. Kind of just looking at the current temperatures there. Looking at the aqua temperatures, you know, aqua, aqua tuner's temperature. Starting to bounce off the 5 there. We're going to have to stop it soon. There we go. We're more about 5 there. There we go. Of course, that also makes these guys heat up too because they're sharing, you know, steam. Yep, this is just kind of a slow cooling down process. It's unfortunately slow, but... So these guys, up to here, are the insulated pipe. And then the rest of this, which is, you know, all inside the insulated tile and then out in what is supposed to be vacuum, although is occasionally natural gas, is the regular liquid pipe. I'm hoping that that doesn't cause a problem. Hoping. But that's all that is, is hope. So, we'll have to see. How are we doing here? That's oxygen, polluted oxygen. Huh. Alright, this is spinning back up again. It's definitely a thing that exists. <laughs> Alright, how's this going? It's coming back up to temp. Of course, I'm waiting on this to finish filling so that we can uh, get all that CO2 back out of there. That's why I shut this one off, is so that it would refill. <clears throat> Don't want to let, you know, this disrupt my system here too much. But yeah, because that's over 11 kilograms per tile there now. we got a long ways to go with this steam. How are we doing here? Negative 250, huh? Not terrible. It's not terrible. We can get lower. We can make it lower. Let's do it. Now the thing is, is I'd be like, oh yeah, I'll cut, I'll come back when I've gotten it lower. I kind of want the actual moment to be on camera, although I'm feeling like it's not going to end up actually being this episode. But we got to get this, you know, whole process just kind of, you know, whole area cooled down. Just cool the whole thing down, heat the steam up, generate little bits and baps of power. I mean, that's not really what it's there for. It produces power, but it is not there for that purpose, you know? It really is to cool the steam down. Oh, alright, let's turn that off. We don't need that running and making this too hot. Spitting out a little bit of steam here and there. At least the uh, pressure's not having issues anymore. How are we doing here? Oh, negative 300. Right around in that with Paul Park. Not quite there, but it was there for a moment. And what was the temperature we were aiming for in that? 4 something? 421.9. Oh boy. Yeah, we're definitely not making that this episode. And most of this episode is going to be this screen right here, staring at this. Um, yeah, I was going to say, well, we should probably check on... Oh, yeah, this. Let's get that. Get you guys so that nothing is 
blocked. We'll just leave it at that for the moment. Well, maybe there. And there. Oh, and that's broken, so we're going to have to clear that out. Get to you. Always stuff to do. Because if we don't clear this, then these guys won't work, and this will all get damaged, and it's a big, big problem. You are going to need to be deconstructed at a fairly high priority. But we will then, theoretically, be able to just, you know, rebuild it and let it go for a while again. Fortunately, everything does kind of still require maintenance. We can't fully automate everything. Alright, you are evening out around there, it looks like. Okay. We'll get back to that probably once I've taken care of this. This requires a little bit of attention. Alright, anybody gonna come take care of this stuff? Come on, guys. You need to do it before the next meteor storm. Come on, guys. Here comes somebody. Is that Harold? I want to see if that's Harold. No, it's Ruby. Okay. Go get him, Ruby. Goodbye, Ruby Tuesday. All right. Pause that. Get Robo Miner back in play. Bam, at priority nine, thank you. All right. So, I can't really do anything more about that till you know, it's done. So, back onto this. Let's see. We can get you running again, can't we? Sure we can. Critter starvation. Oh, dense puffed. It's just going to bounce off that for a bit. All right, we just gotta, because as you can see, it is cooling things down and then it's balancing out a bit, but more gas will get pumped in at a higher temperature, which will make it, you know, occasionally have to run. So that's a thing that is going to be happening. All right, that should be all right for the moment. Negative 320, or th yeah, round 320. All right. Now, see, if this was the oxygen, this would have already been plenty cool by now. <clears throat> but the oxygen is the one we don't have hooked up yet. Speaking of, however, we have space for more of you. That'll do for the moment, because we're going to need more ceramic. Do we have more ceramic ready to go? Oh, another five tons. We can get another 40. So another 10 little bips of space. There we go. Oh, all right. End of cycle. Always something. All right, you must have just put more in. That's good and all. But yeah, this is going to just take a bit of time, and I think what I'm going to end up having to do is I'm going to have to try and get these down closer to temp between episodes, but I want to try and make it so that there is, you know, that, that, that crucial moment happens on, on camera. Um, so that's going to do it for this episode. All we've been doing is this slow, steady cooling process. Um, I mean, not a super interesting episode, but... This one, I think, gives you guys a bit better idea of just how much time that something like this is take is going to take to do on your own. I mean, I've been at this at this setup for like you know multiple multiple episodes now, and we're still not quite to the finish. So, but we're almost there almost to the finish line on this one. Um, and once we get all this ceramic done, because that's another thing that I can work on in between, is getting those pipes further along, too. Hopefully get the oxygen ones done and get these tanks rebuilt once I'm down in that area. Um, but hopefully, 
that will end up working. And hopefully we'll have that ready next time. But that is going to do it for this episode. So, until next time, have a good one. <laughs>